actually level up. Apologies to Bug if they're uh, watching this right now. Alright, it's time to grind. Yeah, see, the card game Final Fantasy IX, or Tetra Master, ranks right up there with, uh... Girlfriends who quote unquote just want to help, as far as things I am now uh, <laughs> not terribly fond of. Also, this will help get some gill, which is also nice. Pretty handsome blood sword there, isn't it? If you look online, you can find the uh, awesome design art for some of these things. It's pretty sweet. It's also a health draining weapon. That's probably why they want you to use it on the Yeah. Haha, <laughs> it makes sense. In that case, as long as we are grinding for abilities. Oh, 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 ability. Um Silk Robe, Magician Robe. Let's kind of armor break first, and then we'll have the blood sword ready when it's time to face the griffin. Um, for Marcus. send a fighting type against a flying type. I guess I thought the steel type would kind of balance things out, but no. One of the things I kind of like about this uh, particular world map is that they put little details like the airships going. Uh, not uh, the airships flying around, not going. Um, that's a little. Weird.
Okay, so. Pansy learned man eater. Something, something, what? Watch out, boys, you'll Am I just saying mumble mumble? Well, to answer your question... I, I hope that makes it clear. Why was that spider carrying a tent? And furthermore, where? Did Marcus just run up to the spider, grab it by the silk glands, and force it to make an entire tent? Bad silence. Bad in joke. So, uh, just to explain, this was from um, Xylitz and I were in a role playing group together for a while, and at one point we are we were dealing with a uh, you know the uh, stereotypical shady trader type character. The game crashed. <sighs> we never saved, did we? Scratch that. I never saved, did I? Oh, it has been this sort of a day, let me tell you. Or actually, don't let me tell you, because it will be long and annoying, and, uh... <sighs> so how much of this do you guys really feel like going through again, or should I just cut the stream here and, uh... Grind things up while you don't have to watch it all being redone. Because, oh my gosh. Oh... My gosh. <sighs> well, do, 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 do. all right, time to time to just steamroll through everything here. Okay, so the big tent story. Um, I forget what campaign this was. Was it Eberron? It might, I think it was set in Eberron. Um, and we're dealing with, you know, the DM is playing this, you know, shady traitor character who's going all like, you know, let me make you some obviously terrible deals. And, uh, yeah, it starts off with him, like, you know, step into my tent, blah, blah, blah. And as they're talking, somewhere in there he gets in and he's like, so. You know, some other character comes in and is kind of, you know, making threats at the traitor and is like, well, uh, tell you what, let's step into the back room and, uh, back room? I thought this was a tent. It's a big tent! <laughs> and, uh, it... Most of it was the fact that they managed to say it in such a, uh, very Mel Brooks sort of way of doing it. Like, somehow the, like, massive accent shift from, you know, Honest Ahmed's whatever to, you know, Mel Brooks going, It's a big tent! 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's give the Duck Lady cancer. Blood sword. Now we give her a ram. Um, um, um. Okay. Now from here. Do, 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 do. Let's synthesis. Papa wants a couple of robes. Sir, give me pretty dresses! I'm imagining that's pretty much exact... I imagine that's pretty much exactly how Steiner is at the uh, synthesis shop. He just barges in and is like, Sir, give me 20 pretty dresses! He's like, um... Um... I... I... I REQUIRE DRESSES! Customer for that. You do not understand my current needs for a pretty dress. Uh, look at all the stuff I'm gonna have to regrind. It's for a good cause. And by a good cause, I mean stuff. Moogle. That does it. Every time I pass a Moogle, I am saving. Just in case! See, look, even Steiner is sick of this shit. I mean, he always is, but... <laughs> okay, that's a good one, Ziggy. Look, I have to get into Don Corneo's mansion, and I want no more questions. Is there anything else to do? Um, let's see, how many more wrists? I mean, I have 13 more steepled hats and 11 more wrists, so let's get back to alchemy. alchemy. Let's see, here we go. Up, da, 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 da. Go through here, back in the synthesis shop. We can buy more. I'm back for more dresses! Hi! Uh, oh, right, wasn't I supposed to get a Kashu? No, oh, I have a Kashusha and a Coral Ring. It's the gold choker I forgot to grab. And a couple yellow scarves. Now let's get all the cotton rubs we can buy. He's just like, sir, I... Sir, I require at least one with an ampere waist! Does this make my butt look 